The rumor is that AMD will reveal the upcoming Radeon RX 8000 series GPUs at CES 2025. Based on the RDNA 4 architecture, this series promises to push boundaries, although much remains under wraps. However, there are growing expectations from AMD. Let's explore the RX 8000 rumors and what the fans expect from AMD. So, AMD will reveal its RX 8000 series GPUs, based on the RDNA 4 architecture, at the next CES. The lineup includes two main chips, Navi 48 and Navi 44. Navi 48 is likely to debut in early 2025, with Navi 44 following in Q2 2025. Navi 48 may feature 4096 stream processors and is expected to power high-end cards like the RX 8800 XT, potentially with a 256-bit interface and GDDR6 memory at 20 GBPs. Navi 44 will target the mid-range market with a smaller die and 128-bit memory bus. AMD's choice of GDDR6 over GDDR7 suggests a focus on balancing performance and cost. Initial clock speed estimates of 3.5 GHz have been revised to a more realistic 3 3.3 GHz for overclocked models, still a significant improvement over the current RX 7900 XTX. The staggered release strategy aims to maintain excitement throughout the year. RDNA 4 builds upon RDNA 3, where a shader engine includes 16 compute units with 1024 stream processors capable of substantial FP32 operations. If this structure remains for RDNA 4, Navi 48 will be positioned in the mainstream segment. AMD has been placing RDNA 4 graphics processors in Linux drivers, though the exact product lineup and launch timeline remain uncertain. This approach indicates AMD's intent to compete with NVIDIA while potentially offering competitive pricing. While promising, many specifics, including exact clock speeds and other details, remain unknown until AMD's official announcement. Now, AMD has not performed as well as NVIDIA in the area of ray tracing. Nevertheless, RDNA 4 is anticipated to provide enhancements. Red Gaming Tech predicts a possible 10% to 30% increase in ray tracing performance, but it is uncertain if AMD can rival NVIDIA in this aspect. The upcoming design could include revamped workgroup processors, improving ray tracing and AI capabilities. The RDNA 4 architecture is said to be constructed using TSMC's N4P process. This method is anticipated to be marginally superior to NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace GPUs. Navi 48 is believed to have a die size ranging from 300 to 350 square millimeter, with Navi 44 being smaller at less than 210 square millimeter. The naming convention differs from earlier versions, as Navi 44 and Navi 48 represent an order of development, not performance ranking. Leakers also indicate that AMD could potentially implement a competitive pricing approach for the RX 8000 series. Speculation suggests that Navi 44 may cost less than $400, whereas Navi 48 could be priced at approximately $500. The attractive pricing of the RX 8000 series could appeal to a wider range of consumers, potentially providing more value in comparison to NVIDIA's top-tier GPUs. Although the specific launch dates for RDNA 4 GPUs are uncertain, the majority of sources anticipate a release in the latter half of 2024, with a few suggesting the fourth quarter. The development of drivers for RDNA 4 is said to be progressing faster than for RDNA 2, indicating a seamless launch. 
AMD may reveal previews of the GPUs at Computex in June 2024, with a wider launch planned for later in the year. So, as we eagerly await the RX 8000, please comment below with your thoughts and expectations from AMD. Thanks for watching.